Practice trading cards began in the tradition of business cards, but with a personal artistic twist. For your cards, you'll want to use your preferred media. This includes newspaper, magazine clippings, acrylic paint, watercolor, pencils, crayons, fabric, markers, and anything else you'd like to use. Other materials you might need are scissors, double-sided tape, and glue. There is a variety of materials you can use for the base of your card, but start with the size in mind. Artist trading cards are generally 2.5 by 3.5 inches. This is about the size of a playing card. Most artist trading cards are created on paper, but they may also have any other medium that can be worked in a suitable size. They're a fun way to exchange your own one-of-a-kind artistic flair with other artists you meet. While making your cards, express yourself and show your style. Is there a particular palette or medium you prefer or a technique you've been exploring lately? Feel free to use it. When making your cards, work somewhat quickly. You don't need to be careless when making your cards, but there's no need to work your masterpiece in miniature either. Artist trading cards should be simple pieces that you're willing to give away when you're done. Make sure to sign your cards and attach contact information if you choose to. An email address or website is a good compromise if you'll be giving these cards to strangers. You can also title your work if you'd like. The whole point of artist trading cards is to trade with other artists, so once you have a selection of cards, trade them. Because they are the size of other standard trading cards, most will fit in trading card sleeves. They should be as unique as the artists who created them, so enjoy the selection. Start a collection and try to get as many as you can.